Well, this time of year, New Jersey welcomes some seasonal guests along the shore, and one group is working overtime to protect them. Seals travel to our area to wait for warmer waters up north, and experts from the Marine Mammal Stranding Center say for various reasons, the animals are at increased risk of getting stranded here during winter months. Ted Goldberg visited with the team who keeps their eyes and ears on the water, looking for distressed seals to get them back home. It might not sound like it, but three seals are on the road to recovery at the Marine Mammal Stranding Center in Brigantine. Nice easy start to the season, um, kind of gets us in the groove um, until things start getting crazy, um, depending on the, on the, the year. Uh, if the weather is a little bit worse, uh, we'll see more strandings. The animals are just getting beat up by the weather. Stranding coordinator Jay Pagel says these seals were stranded away from their friends and family and needed to be rescued. Just like some New Jersey beachgoers who enjoy seeing them, the seals start heading south just before winter. So we're in the middle of stranding season. Our seal season usually starts uh, late November, uh, beginning of December, and then it'll extend right through about May or June uh, when the seals stop coming in. Uh, they're seasonal, so they come down here for the winter, and then they'll head back north uh, when the, the water starts warming up. The number of seals under their care can vary a lot since the center responds to roughly 130 miles of oceanfront coast, and sometimes they respond to other states. A few years back, we had uh, one season where we responded to 15 animals in one day, uh, physically laid hands on 11 of them. Um, and then the following year, we had a total of 15 animals admitted in the rehab. Pagel says more seals are becoming stranded in New Jersey because there are more of them to begin with. They were hunted almost to extinction. Uh, then they gained protection back in the early 70s. And since then, their numbers have been uh, multiplying. They've been doing really good uh, as far as breeding stock. Uh, Nice, nice, healthy population and uh, just growing and they're, they're coming back into the areas that they used to be historically. Uh, historically, back in the 1700s, 1800s, they were abundant here almost year round. While the seals don't have names, they have compelling stories. This harbor seal was bitten by a shark and swam away. The stranding center scooped him up on Christmas Day on LBI. So he's got a deep laceration across his hip and he's got corresponding bite marks on the opposite side on his, on his left hip as well. Pagel says he can go free in a few weeks. Until then, he'll be well fed. This is our capelin. It's a small smelt type fish. Uh, not very high in fat, but it's something that they, uh, these guys are used to eating in the North Atlantic. And he'll use these tanks to swim and regain his strength, with trained professionals watching how he recovers and naps. Pagel says the center's volunteers are good at spotting seals in distress, compared to seals just loafing around. Years of experience basically is how we, we basically determine how, you know, if they're, if they need help or not. Um, in most cases, it's pretty obvious. You'll see discharge from their eyes, their mouth, their nose. If they're sick, you'll see that they're underweight. Uh, if they have obvious injuries, uh, we see that quite a bit, uh, either from shark bites or propeller wounds or other injuries that they get from climbing up on rocks. Once the seals are released back into the wild, they can cover a lot of ground or ocean quickly. They can cruise around 30 miles an hour um, if they really wanted to. Generally, they don't move that quickly, but they can. Um, and they're also covering a lot of ground, like these little gray seals, they're being born up around New England and they're coming down here swimming, you know, anywhere from three to 800 miles uh, just to get here. Um, and these little gray seals are just a few weeks old. The center says if you see seals on the beach, you should admire them from a distance, preferably 50 yards. And if you think a seal might need some help, give the center a call. In Brigantine, I'm Ted Goldberg, NJ Spotlight News.